Hi everyone, Jason Malcolm here again from the Parkinson Center of Oregon, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Elise Anderson, one of our new fellows here at the at the Parkinson Center of Oregon, and we have a couple questions. So, Dr. Anderson, a patient here has a question about uh, carbidopa and levodopa. So, they're wondering how is the amount of carbidopa and levodopa determined for an individual with Parkinson's disease. Okay, well that's a great question, and um, often patients will wonder um, what is what are these two drugs that are in my cinnamon? And um, what uh, what's important to know is that the levodopa is the uh, part of the drug that is converted into dopamine in your brain, and helps to replace the the missing dopamine that is the underlying cause of Parkinson's disease. And the carbidopa is a different drug that works in the rest of your body but doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier and carbidopa prevents the uh, levodopa from being converted to, into dopamine until it gets into your brain, um, at which point uh, it can uh, do its job in um, treating Parkinson's disease. And that's important because in the rest of your body, the um, dopamine can cause side effects such as nausea and vomiting. And so by giving the drug with carbidopa, we prevent those side effects and allow lower doses to have a more precise effect. Um, the way that the 25 and the 100 was formulated is just that that seems to be the best combination for most people, and so that's how it's packaged. Um, but in some patients, we find that that's not the, um, the best combination, and some patients will require more carbidopa to prevent that nausea and vomiting. And we can administer additional carbidopa um, as a separate pill. Um, and so that's something that's good to know about to tell your neurologist if you find that you're having a lot of nausea when you take your cinnamon. Thank you, Dr. Anderson, and uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to our uh, Ask the Doc segment for our Facebook page. Um, as usual, keep visiting our Facebook page for more of these Ask the Doc questions in the future. And um, please uh, don't use this as personal medical advice, but if you have any questions uh, about this matter or any other matters, uh, to please check with your neurologist or, or family care physician. Thank you.